Tomorrow, activists, scientists, and storytellers will gather to talk about the impact of climate change. This discussion will be taking place at Oakland University during the Michigan Climate Summit. Denise Keel from the Michigan Climate Action Network is here along with Jeffrey Insko, a professor of English and coordinator of American Studies at Oakland University to talk about the Michigan Climate Summit. First and foremost, thanks for, for being here to talk to us about this. Uh, I was just given the forecast. We have air quality alerts. It's super hot outside. And it's also, it can be a polarizing topic as well. Uh, so when it comes to this summit, uh, what are the goals that you have that mm -hmm. you want to address with it? Yeah, well, thanks so much for having us. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. Uh, you're right about those 90 degree days. So <laughs> historically, Michigan would have had three to five of those all summer. And it's not June 1st, and we've already had a few. So we are experiencing climate change right now. And uh, a lot of the political pieces of that, uh, I would like to remind folks, 70% of Michiganders believe in climate change. Folks uh, do understand what's happening. And so part of the goal of the Climate Summit is to make sure that all the folks that understand what's happening have a place where they can talk to each other, support each other, and connect on the good work that is being done all across our state uh, to make this energy transition. So it sounds like it's also an opportunity for people to even learn about not only what's at stake, but what it's all about as well. Absolutely, and um, to learn not just about the science and the facts of climate change, but to tell stories of uh, how they're experiencing it now and how we can work together moving forward to find solutions to the problem. So what are some of the highlights that uh, somebody who checks this out will be able to, to either, either learn about or also to see? Oh, there are so many. Uh, we counted up this way. We have 56 unique Ooh, speakers, okay, okay <laughs> at an all-day event. So uh, the folks that are going to be able to come in person to Oakland University's wonderful facilities tomorrow will be able to also do some interactive pieces. We have a art director, Colleen Ludwig, Dr. Ludwig from OU, is going to have some interactive art display so people can talk through and, and actually write out their hopes, their fears, uh, their future, and their actions that they are taking. Uh, We've got a storytelling coach who's going to give a workshop about how you I'm turn your, that. yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, we you guys do that every day, yeah, right? right, right. Um, plus, we have, of course, our folks from the administration, from Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy coming to do a couple keynotes about the My Healthy Climate Plan. And we're very pleased, the health piece that you were talking about, uh, Dr. Abdul El Saeed is going to be another wow, keynote okay. during the day, uh, talking through, he's the current director of the Wayne County Health Pieces, and okay. talking through some of those accessibility and pieces. So this sounds like an all-star cast it's, in a way. Yeah. An all-star cast. And Dr. Insko, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and speaking of that, you were teaching your students about sustainability, mm -hmm. right? Can you tell, give us kind of a glimpse of what they were able to learn, to learn about that subject? Sure. Uh, I taught a class this semester, ironically, about whales in literature. Uh, it's a course on literature and the environment, uh, but it was an opportunity for us to think about um, ecology and the way that ordinary, um, everyday habits of consumption even in places like Michigan, can have effects upon ecosystems and animal life in faraway places from us. And see, we're running out of time. There's something you could tell I want to know more about this. There's so much that you're going to be addressing and covering. So briefly, if you could let our viewers know, like how could they participate in this or even just check it out? You can still go online, myclimateaction.org, and be able to get tickets to attend in person tomorrow. There's also a virtual live stream, so if you want to uh, stay at home in your own AC, that's also <laughs> perfectly fine with us. All the main plenary sessions will be Zoomed out. Uh, come visit us at Oakland Center, Oakland University on Friday. It's the facility is air conditioned. There you so go. Okay, nice there you go. <laughs> now you sold it. <laughs> I'd, I'd be remiss. We also have a pre-event uh, tonight, actually. We will be at the Crowfoot in Pontiac for a live storytelling show. So if you don't think you're experiencing climate change, you actually are. And there'll be a lot of folks there telling their story of how, how it impacts our daily lives and what they're doing uh, to right. move forward and adapt. Sounds good. Denise and Jeffrey, thanks for joining us here. So uh, yeah, Thank make you. sure you can check that out. We'll talk about the heat as well. We'll have more news for you.